Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we're finally going to be doing the next part of the build for the Titanic. So for this we're going to need box 93, we're going to need our screwdriver set, we're going to need a uh, X-Acto blade, we're going to need our glue, and we're also going to need our 93 book. <clears throat> and you're also going to need your promenade A deck. So going all the way to, okay, here we go. The first loading crane. Take the crane body parts 93B. And 93C. <laughs> the connecting pin. 93E. And the crane cable. 93L. Fit the larger wire loop. On the end of part 93L. Against the hole. In the crane body, 93C hold it in place by fitting the peg on part 93E into the hole. Check how the pegs on part 93C fit into poles in part 93B. And join the parts together. Okay. So we're going to open up this. We're going to get our new. Little pliers set that they send us. We're going to need these. Those are pliers that they send us. Which are nice. They even got some wire cutters on them. So that's good. We're going to need this little thing to get our first wire. I dread this. Okay, so we need that big one. Put that into the thing. Put that back into the thing. Close it up until we need it. Now we're going to need to get two parts out of here. Well, actually three parts. There's one, there's two. We need the other one. And that one. I might as well keep the cream boom out because we'll need it in a minute. Put this little pulley back in there. My hook. Put that back in. Okay. And like I said, I did paint the top of this crane, the gray color. Okay, so now we're going to need our connecting pin. We're going to need this right here. We're going to need the connecting pin. The bigger end goes over top. This is not gonna be fun. So the bigger pin's gonna go right here. Like that. Hold that there a minute. 
Okay, and then this is going to go through it. Let's see. I'm going to turn it. Okay, it's going to face that way. Just hang on here a minute. I got to get this right. Turn this thing. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, there we go. So, like that. And then, those has got to stab into that. Which, mind you, is not going to be the easiest thing to do. Okay, that ain't coming back out. Okay. That's the first two pieces done of the cream, but that's not the hardest part. Okay. So that's done. Now we've got to turn the page. Show you what we've done. That's not the hardest part of the crane, though. The hardest part's coming up. Step two. Take the crane jib 93i and the long hinge pin 93f. Position the jib so that the eyelets at the wide end fit on either side of the base of the body assembled in the previous step so that holes are aligned. Fit the pin into the assembly smooth end first. Left, you can use the pliers 93M to push the pin in place above. Okay, so the flat end's got to go first in. Okay, this is the hard part. Come here. We got to do this. That's the hard part. Okay. So I got to get the big pin out of here. That's the small pin. That's the big pin. Put these back in until we're ready for them because we don't need to lose them. Okay, got the big pin. Got to find the smooth end. That's the smooth end. Now, with building with the boys, he said it was easier to put it into the crane first. Okay. And then...
onto the cream. Which is not proven to be easy right now. Yeah, that's not easy. Give me a few seconds here. Okay. I got it started through. I got started through one end, let's put it that way. So now I want to go through the other end. Come on. Yes, I am in here, guys. We're having some complications. All right, mine didn't go through all the way onto this end though, so hopefully when the rest of it gets together, it'll hold it together. That's not easy to do, but I'll handle it later. All right, that's done. Now we're going to go to the next step, step three. Fit the hook, 93D, and washer, 93H between the eyelets at the narrow end 
of the jib, 93i, fit the shorter hinge pin, 93g, through the holes, smooth end first, and push the piece with the pliers above when the hook is in place, fit the loop on the free end of the cable, 93L, between the hook and washer. Okay. Yeah, I see the hook. Now for that small pin. Okay. Now, the small pin has started, so now I've got to put the hook in which on my hook I painted it black So the hook and then that washer that they're calling a washer, which it's really a pulley. So the little pulley.
Okay. All right, there we go. I can't get the wire to go all the way through mine, but I think that's as best as I'm going to get it. So I'm not going to be, you know, too picky about it. At least we got it that far. We're down to three pieces left. Which are going to be hard still yet. <sighs> We're down to these little wires. Two wires left. Let me read. No. Okay, first of all, let me move these wires into the box. So, basically, let me close that. Basically, what we just did was this right here. Now we're moving on to this. This is not going to be easy. Step four. Ow. Fit the eyelets on the left and right tie rods part 93J and 93K over the pegs on either side of the body. 93C circled in circled fit the aligned ends into recesses in the eyelets where the hook is fitted narrow okay first one ah, come here these things are ow you stabbed me okay this one goes on this side so i gotta fit this over that. That's not going to be easy. That's one. That is a nightmare to do. If I can just get the other one.
Okay. So for this, we're going to need some little bit of super glue because the wires ain't going to stay in by themselves. Okay, this one. Okay. There is the completed crane. I just think we got to do that again. One more time with this shipment. And then later on we'll have to do about four more. Because of all the cranes that the Titanic had. So that's going to be fun. And seal up the glue. Okay. Now we're on the last step. Step five. Fit the crane assembly on the onto the base 93A and fix in place from inside the base with an HP screw. Do not over tighten the screw as the crane should be able to rotate. Okay, so first of all we're going to need to get us a screw. We only need one, and we got one extra gonna have to get a hold of my screwdriver of choice maybe not that one this one let me try come here yeah I think that's the one okay so we're going with a ph1 Taking the crane base, taking the crane, okay, and then we're going to take our screwdriver. And we're going to insert. the screw into the bottom a little bit too tight back it out
Yeah, we can turn it. Okay. So now the crane is finished. Now we're going to apply that to the the deck that we have over here. So let me just flip to the last page. Step six. Take the promenade deck assembly from issue 76. Identify the holes where the crane shoot where the crane base 93A is fitted at the aft end of deck section 71B. Circled fit the crane in place. This is a push fit connection. All right, so getting our A deck promenade over here, we're going to identify where the crane goes. <laughs> 